This video is sponsored by Guapkey. If you're looking for a reliable modded GTA account for PS4, Xbox One, or PC, then this is the place to go. The link is in the description below. I feel he just shook him off there. Where is he? Oh, he's there though. Are you recording? Fuck off, you pipe chasing piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your oppressor, bitch. Did I even get it? Please, sir, blow his oppressor up. Yes, I did. Oh, well, it's kind of fucked. Right, doddery white termite. This kid has explosive rounds. Come on, doddery, mate. Come on, doddery doo doo. Right, dodgy didgery doo. Let's see what you're gonna do, my baby. Can you show me. <laughs> oh, mate. Give him a round of applause. That was class, that was. That was beautiful. I'll stop using BST on the poor boy because it's kind of a 2v1. Although he is using explosive rounds. And that's so nippy that it almost cancels out a 2v1 being a 2v1. Come on, didgery doo. Got a very cold elbow. Luna, stop attacking my feet. Right, dodgy di Ah, you lucky, you lucky little bitch. Oh, Luna, will you leave Bella alone? She doesn't want to play with you, she doesn't want to be bothered by you. Every time you go near her, she just hisses at you, so just that means fuck off, basically. That's cat speak for fuck off. Oh, he's on his RC tank. I see it, I see it. Come on, mate, I'm not that stupid. I know you're doing. I know what you're doing. Oh, there's two tanks? Oh, here are these. You can't aim that to save his life, my guy. I'm not too far from a suitable road, mate. What do you call that right there? Why does it matter? Can't you just spawn it here anyway? I'm running towards this road anyway. So then I would have been, probably would have got there by the time it had arrived. I'm really high. I'm bloody well stunned. Go on, dodgeridoo. Didgeridoo. Oh, he's exited off it because he's a bitch. That's what he's done there. Look at him, thinks he's pretty decent, mate. Why are you shitting with an assault rifle from all the way down yonder? No, not assault shotgun. Look at him hiding behind that fence, mate. Yeah. So that's how you know he's a pussy. That's how you know he's a pussy, bitch. Because you snipe him and then he ducks behind that fence and just shoots a rocket. Desperation, mate. Desperate move, that. Run side to side, mate. Again, desperate move, mate. He's such a fucking little pussy. Has he been castrated or was he just born without one? Wait, not cast. Yeah. Castrated is having your balls cut off, isn't it? Not having your cock cut off. I don't think that's a thing. Just, nah. Circumcision, maybe, but that's not getting your cock cut off. Well, wow. it's getting a bit of it cut off. And he survived that how? Brandio. Mate, that's bullshit, okay? I pressed left on the D-pad before the explosions took place. Well, that was some good flying, mate. Valuable input, thank you for that. Again, mate, this is what I was talking about in, a, in an earlier video. Because the cooldowns for the Bandito and the RC tank are so short, you can essentially alternate between the two. Literally. As long as you're on each one for like at least a minute, you can alternate between the two. I'm pretty sure they used to be a minute. They might have lengthened it, but I fucking well doubt it. I see you hiding there, mate. I don't trust him. He's really unfucking predictable. Actually, he's fucking well not. He just goes on his tank every two seconds. You look at him, just hides. It's like all he does. Hides on his tank or his bandito. Or down there and there. It is. Corners himself in there. Why would you do that? Just allows you to just get closed in on. Hold up, boys. This video is also sponsored by Digizani. They also provide GTA modding services such as cash and rank. And you can also find their links in the description below. And make sure to use the code DEMPY at checkout for a discount. Running. Just look, that's all you see, that's all you ever see him do. Hiding or running.
Oh, uh, fuck off! Nice take, Dan. Fuck off, then. If you don't like it, fuck off. Oh, here is, is this his comical attempt at sniping again. Actually, I'm gonna drop BST right before you'll start crying in the comments. Oh, why are you using BST? Oh, right. It's because if I don't use it, literally all that'll fucking happen is I'll snipe him and then he'll just duck behind the fucking building and then just blow himself up or just shoot rockets at me. Uh, he just expects me to just waltz around that corner and it's not happening. Yeah, see, I go out up here where I can get a shot on him down there. And then off he goes. He was fine while he was hiding around that corner. Fine then. Oh, minute I'm possibly gonna be able to try and kill him. Nah, not stuck in the back for that shot. It's just the mark of a noob, mate. Why well, you just openly admit to being a noob like that? Ah, for Jesus sake. <laughs> Right, and then so, so that gives him the kill end of it. With the Bandito, or the RC tank, you shouldn't be able to back off it when someone is within like a certain distance of you. So see when you enlarge the map like this, right? They'll say if like anyone who's within the distance of that of you, like where they would fit into that map, okay? Anyone within or like within like a mile radius of you or something like that. If there's anyone within a certain distance to you, it should not let them back off it when someone is within that distance to you. Like, does anyone like agree with that? But is that does that make sense? I don't know if I'm wording it right, but yeah, essentially that is what I'm on about. Because it makes it too easy to just be a bitch like this. Because then the minute someone gets there, like he gets his tank, the minute someone gets his there's their oppressor to take him out, the minute you, the thing can survive a good like five missiles or something, it can survive like five or six missiles I think. There's plenty of fucking time for them to back out off the tank. They're easily gonna just press Y before you've hit like six rockets on them, you know? So the minute you start shooting rockets and they just back off it and it's spun a mile away from you. Mate, there's no escaping my six snipes, little dodgery twat. Here are all these. Didn't ask for any of you guys to come. Ah, oh, just go away. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, but that's what you have to part with. If you fuck with me, then you gotta deal with what may come. Yeah, you can fuck them. Oh, come on. Well, you could probably have just landed on your feet though, mate. What levels is twat? Oh, I'm level 558. I'm amazing. Off you go. Actually, don't off you go. That's the problem. That is the problem. He's just off he goes in. He's running away, basically. Where is this stupid twat? Hiding behind that. That's a surprise. He's hiding behind something. Oh, who would have thought? At least he's got that unpredictability there. Come on, little dodgy boy. Didn't ask. Didn't ask, didn't ask, didn't ask, didn't ask. I piss off LJT, will you? So yeah, who, yeah, who cares, so what? Even if I'm serving up for my personal consumption, that's what's wrong with that? Judgmental bellend, mate. Yeah, you're just a little bit late there. Timing just slightly off on that one. Wait, come on then, didgeridoo. Didgeridoo, I can't see you. Trying to walk out into my sights, you twat. Yeah, mate. Look at him running. Has he got himself a vehicle? Oh, no, he's destroyed my fucking shitty oppressor that I don't even like anyway. Shit, here he comes. Go back to bed. Let me see if I can see what vehicle he's in. Ah, oh, it's pretty bulletproof. Sorry, I'm half eating sweets right now. I'm not familiar with this vehicle, so I don't know how best to destroy it. You know, I don't know how, what its weakness is. Some of them, they can easily be shot through the windscreen, or others blow up in only one thing. Whereas I'm not aware of these specifics. I've literally, like, fucking barely ever even seen that truck before. I don't think I've, anyone I've ever fought is, is dumb enough to use that shit. No skill loser. <laughs> yeah, says him. If he had skill, would he be hiding behind everything in fucking sight? Would he be sat cowering away in that stupid vehicle? Would he be going on his... RC tank fucking seven times. If he had skill, would he be doing all those things that require fuck all skill? I can't try to chuck bombs at me from there. 
He's so stupid. Sorry, I really don't understand why he's calling me a no-skill loser when he's literally just sat in that thing. Like, he's calling me no skill, so him calling me no skill obviously implies that he has skill, which he evidently fucking doesn't. Like I said, if he had skill, he'd be do doing them and using them. He ain't half clapped, him. He ain't half clapped. He's so stupid, mate. Jack shit idea what he's doing. Drive around in that thing and hope for the best, eh? No skill loser. I'm double the score on him. Despite the fact that he's been using all these stupid cheap tactics. Answer the goddamn phone. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Answer the fucking phone. You ignorant scat. Ah, fuck you then, mechanic. Fuck you then. Yeah, see he's exchanged vehicles now. I think at least. Or has he? Maybe he's not. Because I shot his windscreen and it cracked. So maybe I can actually shit him out of the bastard stupid thing. Because yeah, he just went like away, like away from me and got out. I thought he was... Because I'd hit a lot of explosions on his stupid truck. So I thought he was replacing it so it would be full armor again. But I don't know if he has done that because the windscreen did just break. Which implies it is weakening. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. There we go. Oh, what? Sorry, how did I not get him? And how did he get me? That is bollocks, my son. That is an absolute pile of ass. I, I shot him right there in the head. I was shooting him right square in the face, mate. Look at him, so stupid he is. Look how dumb he is, mate! This game's ludicrous, mate. This is so dumb. This is really clapped and stupid. What are you doing? Such a dumbass. Why isn't this killing him? This is so stupid. I was literally just shitting him. Like, the window, you can see the windscreen. I'll put it on screen now, like a close-up. The windscreen is, like, half of it is, like, gone. Like, there's a massive hole in it. And the rest of it's all frosted over, implying it's weak as fuck. Like him, in real life. See? Like, I should be able to shit him. There's not really anything blocking it. There's no glass, really, in the way. There's a big hole in it, I swear to fuck. Calls me no skill. And that's all he can do is sit there. What is he actually trying to do? Is he trying to prove that he has skill or what? He's so dumb and useless. That truck is like, I swear, that's got to be like god mode. Like, it literally has to be god mode. Because I've hit it with so many explosions already. I've shot the fuck out of it. I've shot him so much that like, the windscreen is like cracked and shattered. And I should be able to be shooting him through it, but I li it's not. Like, is he, on, is he in god mode or what? There we go, finally! Got him in that stupid, spazzy little vehicle. This is no skill. I'm, the, I'm literally just trying to fight him. On ground, on foot, I'm literally just trying to fight the kid. So I don't know how he's calling me no skill. If he had skill, he, why doesn't he fight me then? So I'm literally trying to fight. He's literally just hiding, that's all he's doing. See how rather than running towards me to try and fight me and kill me, he runs towards, like, here, just so he can hide behind these shacks. Like, notice that. Notice how, like, how much of a pussy is. So obviously a pussy would run away from me into somewhere where he can hide like a bitch. Where someone with skill or whatever, like he's implying, I feel like, would come to you. Thanks, mate. Uh, yeah, it backs off it. See, the minute I'm on my presser, because the bandit is more weak than the tank. Is he actually running towards me for once? Holy shit. It's a miracle. Running towards the fight rather than scurrying away from it. Under the road, mate. Come on, snipe me. No, don't snipe me. Run away from me. He's just... See, he can't really go to the road and be kind of in the open. Oh, there's little trucks, though. Come on, then, lad. Ah, oh, balls, he got in it. Now, do this shit again. Oh, never mind. The window's on the- maybe the window's on the side are, like, not bulletproof. Yeah, I, don't, I think it- yeah, see, look, it doesn't even have windows at the side. Right, so the windscreen, I think, is, like, really bulletproof, I think. It doesn't seem to have side windows. So maybe that's its weakness. So I was saying before, like, I'm not familiar with that vehicle, so I don't know how best to take it out. So I think that is basically- it's what it seems to me that's basically it's weak point is you have to shoot from the side and then you get them. Because I think both times I've got him, I've shot at him like kind of from the side. Especially the first time I was right at the side of him. Then I seemed to get him like as if there was no windows there, which is what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure there is no windows at the side. No, mate, it's fine, mate. Oh, no. 
These two little subs. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. No, now these little subs are coming to fucking help me. Great, so now it's just like a 4v1 then. Ah, oh, just go away, lad. I'm obviously not needing help. Yeah, I know, okay? I appreciate that. I know that that was kind of bad timing. I'm getting a stupid truck again, mate. Ah, oh, leave it out with that thing! He's such a pussy, mate! I'm glad these subs are here now. If he's, on, if he's gonna be in that, then yeah. Right, get him from the side. Yeah, there we go, see? Because you can see the little metal frame. I'm like 99% sure that there are no windows there by default. That's not, not just from them getting shot, that's like... Normally they don't even have that. Because literally every time I'm shooting him from the side, I'm getting him with ease. I don't know why they wouldn't just put windows on it. An obvious weak point if it's a vehicle that's intended for war purposes. Where is he? He's up there. Is all he can do rockets now? Is that all he's really... Is that all he really has got in him? Just rockets? Is that all it was reduced to? Is it? He's an idiot, mate. Mate, why is there a need for 10 million cops to be here? I haven't even really done anything wrong. I've only really been killing him. So that's the thing. That's something I don't get about this game, right? Is that why... Why do you... Why do you get the cops on you for killing another player? Okay? Someone answer that. Answer me that. It's ridiculous. Like, I think the cops should be removed from GTA Online. I think it would make the game so much better. I think there should be, like, custom lobbies with these, like, different types of sessions. You know, like, in Battlefield 1, uh, there's different game modes, like there's Conquest, Team Deathmatch, and all these other ones. Should be kind of like that on here, I think. So there should be like five or some in different like categories of lobbies that you can go in. Kind of similar how to how there's free aim lobbies and assisted aim lobbies. So there should be lobbies where cops are disabled. I don't mean they're in wheelchairs, I mean like they're turned off. So that you actually can't even get them and they're not even in the game. There should be lobbies where player to player, like combat or whatever, is removed. So basically everyone's kind of like in passive mode, but not. So like you can still see players normally, they're not like ghosts like when they're actually in passive. It's kind of like that, but like where you just can't kill them. And like where it doesn't aim on them, as if basically like as if somebody who's in your CEO, it's like you can't aim on them or shoot them or lock on them or anything like that. But where all the players are like that, so they're like peaceful or friendly lobbies. Ah, oh, twat, just stole my kill. Can these two actual piss off? We're now just 3v1-ing him, which means he actually kind of has grounds to criticise, even though it's not my fault. Well, I'm going to stop using BST, but I mean, if he's just going to be sat in fucking all these vehicles and hiding... That's the thing, that's why I'm using BST, it's not because, like, I feel I need it, it's literally just so that I can get him before he runs somewhere. That's what I'd, was happening before when I wasn't using it, I would just snipe him, I would snipe him, and then he would just run away into the, like, behind a building or something. Look at him actual fully just running for his fucking stupid little life. Fuck this game! Why could I not get him then? I took a million shots at him and missed each one. It's because there was so much pressure. I don't perform well under pressure. That's why I don't like live stream and shit. Because with a video, I can decide if it's gonna be a video or not. Like at the moment, I don't need to record this, but I can. I probably will go back and record it afterwards. But that's the thing, I know that it doesn't have to go out to everyone if I don't want it to. Whereas with a stream, when you're streaming, if something happens, that's it, it's out there. So if it just doesn't go right and just it's just all going wrong, then that's just going on stream and it just be shit content. Whereas in a video, I can only put it out if it meets the standards and if it's good enough and if it's like entertaining enough. This thing, I feel like, because a lot, when I'm on G2, it's not like all the time I'm on it's like really good fights or like entertaining parties or anything like that like that's a reasonably small amount of what goes on a lot of the time when I'm sat on GTA it's like really dull and I'm not fucking doing anything and like nothing funny is happening no one's like attacking me or starting shit or being a c like no one's doing anything and it's just boring as hell and nothing's happening it's just a dull bog standard GTA session with nothing really entertaining going on. So if I was to do live streams, it would literally just be that and it would be the most dull, boring content ever. People would just be sat watching this boring shit and nothing going on. That's the thing, whereas I always have the option to record if I want to. Like on Melgato, I don't have to be recording before something happens, it has like flashback memory. So I can go back and record anything of the any of the last two hours that happened. I can go back and record that. 
after it happens. I can like rewind it and and cap and capture the previous 40 minutes or hour or hour and a half or however long. So that's the thing, if nothing funny or good was happening, that I don't need to record it and put it out to everyone. But then when stuff does happen that is funny enough or entertaining enough, then I can put it out. So then only stuff that is actually funny or like entertaining or whatever, then I can just put that stuff out. So then only the good stuff's going out. Because if I stream, nothing funny would, hap it would happen. Thanks, mate. But yeah, that's for the fucking people who keep asking me to live stream. Internet probably isn't good enough anyway. You need some elite internet to be able to stream half decent quality. I'm gonna continue using BS2. Literally, just so that I can just get him. Literally, because he's running and hiding to such an extent that I'm lucky to get like one shot on him. Because like, he just there spawns and he just there runs away. So you have like a brief window where you can get him before he runs behind something or into the sea or any of these other plebby fucking things he's doing. Like trying to run towards that as well. And getting that vehicle for what, fucking 17th time. You're not getting in that thing again, mate. It's not happening, so get used to it. See, that's what I mean. See, just there. See where I had like a second where I could have got him. That's why I use BST. That exactly this. I, I saw him running. I could have got him, but I, it, had, it was a tiny little window before he got out of sight. Like, he's literally that much of a pussy that I actually need BST just to be able to get him because he's running that much. Where, like, he's barely ever visible. He's, he's running behind, hiding behind everything. Yeah, like behind that rock, for example. He just hides behind shit. He just runs and hides. I'm pretty sure I said that like half an hour ago. That's all he does. He just has to be in a position where he's very hard to kill. So running, hiding behind things, being in that stupid truck he's requested about 18 times. Come on, dodgy didgeridoo. Yeah, and then when all else fails, when all else fails, the RC tank. I don't know who the fanboys come for the screenshot. Stop pushing him away from me, you're making it harder for me to get him. Nice driving NPC. It's to the point where I don't even really notice the cops are there anymore. Literally, I actually don't. Because they're just there all the time. It's so stupid. The cops should not be in GTA Online. There's endless reasons why. Well, the state of GTA Online now is literally essentially a PvP game. It's all about PvP. Pretty much all the fucking game modes or PvP related, or a lot of them, I don't fucking know. And anything in free mode is, PvP is a fucking massive element of it. In fact, it's probably the biggest element of the game. You, you can't re you can't avoid it, it's literally, you cannot avoid it. You do anything, you're gonna come across PvP. You can't be in a session for more than like two minutes without being in some form of PvP. Like you'll be driving around and someone will start chasing you, throwing sticky bombs at you, that's PvP. You do or like grinding or anything like that. People come after you and you have to fight them and engage in PvP. So with it being what is essentially a PvP game, why the fuck are the cops in it? It's literally like on Call of Duty, every time you kill another player, you get like some fucking death squad sent out to kill you. That's literally like the equivalent of that. Like obviously it's a bit different because hey, in COD you like have to kill players, that's like the only thing you can do, whereas on GTA it's not the only thing you can do, but you do have to do it, basically. Unless you want to just be sat on the clouds the whole time. Because even if you leave right before any PvP happens, like you just be sat on the clouds all the time, you essentially won't even be playing the game. Found some safe little hole to hide in. Watch some text me going on about 3v1. I suppose that's my fault. I suppose I invited these two random players I don't even know. Alright, well I think this kid's just gone. I think he's just accepted defeat. Shall I be an absolute <laughs> prick, right? And just for a joke, Right, I know all the little triggered Karens in the comments, right? Should we just, for a little joke, should I just fuck these two over? Right, now hold your salty comments, everyone. I know it's a dick move. It is just quite funny doing things like that. It really is. It is fucking hilarious just doing shit like that. I know people get very angry at me when I do things like that, so just calm down, right? It's just a joke. It's just for fun. It's only a fucking game. I right? don't get your panties in a wad about it. Try not to have a stroke if you can help it. Oh my god, you're such an arsehole. Is that how you treat your fans? <laughs> to be fair, I don't know if either of them have even established that they 
they're a fan. People always do that when I perform a slightly dick move in a video. All oh, the comments raging about it. Oh my god, they were helping you fight that guy. Ah, oh, Dempty, why did you do that? Why did you kill him? He was being nice to you. Yeah, I know he was being nice. I'm not saying he wasn't being nice, it was just a prank. To be honest, they're both fucking absolute tryhards. So to them, that's probably like getting kicked in the fucking mouth. Why have they not texted me? Jesus, they must be some fucking loyal fans. They don't even give a shit. Usually, like, I do do that sometimes. Not necessarily to fans, but it, I find it is very funny to, ju <laughs> to just... Um, befriend someone and then turn on them <laughs> so you know you get on friendly terms with somebody maybe fight someone together and bond over that and something like that <laughs> so you befriend them you you gain their trust right so it's it's especially funny to like tryhards or people who who seem like they kind of a bit of a rage and take it a bit serious you know so then yeah you gain their trust and then you just suddenly turn on them when they're like least expecting you just shit them in the back of the head and then you just do an absolute runner <laughs> and then he wants a 1v1 <laughs> oh, I'm, already, I'm already up on you 1-0 mate that was a joke because there are some sensitive Karens out there I'm telling you some of these comments I've seen are fucking hilarious oh my god Dempy you're such an arsehole why did you do that Dempy like come on it's a game lighten up mate Stop being such an uptight little fucking bellend, mate. It's literally a game, okay? It's meaningless. It doesn't really mean anything. Someone kills you in a game, right. It's just the pixels on your TV changing colour. Who cares, mate? But yeah, I think I'll stop ranting about that. Right, here comes a little boy wanting his 1v1. Fuck it, just kill him again. He was just about to kill me, I think. No skill is it? Yeah, you've already said that one, mate. I think it's about... High time to come up with a new line. Right, well that orange kid wants to 1v1 me, but I don't I don't want to 1v1 you, mate. Can't be bothered, mate. I'm too tired. Now, what's the point in 1v1ing him? Why would I 1v1 him? Because literally, he's like the one that's going to benefit from that. Okay, if I 1v1 him, he's the only one that's going to benefit from it or gain anything from it. I'm not going to gain shit from it. It's not. It wouldn't be fun at all. It wouldn't be fun for me to 1v1 him. It wouldn't be funny, entertaining, or fun in any real way. It wouldn't be fun or entertaining. It just make, turns everything from being lighthearted and funny as it should be on a game. It turns it from that to some right serious fucking bollocks going on. And you know, I, I, I'm on here to have a good time. That's why I play this game, because it's bloody fun, right? I bloody like this game and it's ruddy well fun, okay? That's why I'm on here, for fun. You understand that word fun right I'm on here to have fun and I personally would not be having really any fun at all 1v1ing him like you're not gonna gain anything from that it's not funny it's not fun I mean if I'm like on fire and I'm like really good at sniping like like I said like I have bursts where I'm like pretty good at sniping and that's normally what the video is, whereas most of the time I'm not that good at all, really. But I personally don't find fights fun anymore, at least not like I used to. I used to kind of find it fun fighting folks, but I don't find it really funny in any way, no. It's just very sort of serious and and not light-hearted and fun, which is what I want. What are you doing, lad? Ah, uh, yeah, obviously he's got explosive rounds because he's a fucking sp- What an idiot. What a wetbag twat. Is that what he was going to use with a 1v1? What a fair 1v1 that would have fucking been. But yeah, as I was fucking saying, even if I was absolutely shitting on him, I still personally wouldn't be having fun and I wouldn't gain shit from him. But obviously he's a little fucking kid and he feeds off the drama and the excitement. So that's why he wants to 1v1 me. So you can get, oh my god, I'm fighting some fucking someone who posts YouTube videos, that's so amazing. And he can feel all class about himself if and when he beats me. Thinks I'd give a toss, mate, only person who cares is him. Mate, launch the fucking mission! Well, we all just gonna sit here for the rest of our lives then. I feel like a fucking 50 year old man. Sitting in a primary school classroom full of fucking six-year-olds like as a as a pupil like doing this mission with these bunch of noobs First of all, I feel like a grown man in a in a nursery as one of the kids mate If you don't launch this job, I'm gonna come around your house and shit on your doorstep. Just launch it I'm gonna get to the end of this story that I'm trying to tell all right well, not a story, I'm just trying to explain it, right? Because I, 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 I am on, I'm not just randomly ranting, like, this is actually, like, in response to stuff like people actually say. Mate, can these cops actually, what the fuck?
Right. Well done, Rockstar. Great game. Maybe that's just the universe's way of telling me to get off and go fucking bed, which is probably fucking wise. I should do that, considering it's ten past bloody well one. Yeah, well, that was a weird fight as usual. No such thing as a fucking actual normal fight. Although normal now is these weird stupid fights, so... I don't know. But yeah, I just wouldn't enjoy fighting him. I wouldn't find it fun. I wouldn't gain anything from it. He's the only person that would gain anything from it because he'd get his little drama or his attention or his clout or just all three or fucking boost of self-esteem and all this shit. Because he'd probably beat me because he's sweating away there. And I'm not a little tryhard anymore, so. But yeah, so he's the only person that would gain anything from it. So why would I do that? How's it worth my fucking while to fight him? Well, he didn't really get angry, so I feel a little bit bad, but oh well. It was funny. I mean, that's basically how the fucking Psycho LOL video started out. Mind, I just killed that. <laughs> I just killed that guy just out of nowhere and then did a bit of a runner. Um. You know, so that could, have, that could have literally been another one of them. Like, like one of them could have gone right mad at me. It is funny doing that. It's just, it's just a little joke. So keep your fucking, don't get your knickers in a twist. You know, the comments. Ah, oh, Dempa, you're a fucking prick, mate. Killing your fans. Is, this, is that how you treat your fans, you arsehole? No. It's just a joke, mate. I mean, they did kind of ruin... <laughs> They did kind of ruin me and that guy's fight. Because we, me and that kid were having a fucking kind of decent... Well, it was shit kind of, but it was a sort of half-decent fight we were having. At least it was a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see, with those two there, the kid wouldn't get anywhere near me before either of them two would kill him. So it kind of, kind of removes any opportunity I might have to kill the guy. Which a bit of nine. Alright, so I'm going to wrap this video up here. I was pretty baked when I recorded this, so I was just like ranting. I wasn't just mindlessly rambling though, like there was actually like points I was um, trying to make at least. And the stuff I was saying was actually like kind of facts. So there's about 27 minutes of footage left and all of that is literally me just sat on the home screen just like ranting about a variety of things I don't really remember. It was largely about like the state of what GTA is like now compared to what it used to be when I was like in my prime back when I was level like three, four hundred and how much better the game was then and like fighting people how it was so much more fun back then and just stuff like that. Like I said, I can't really remember what I was talking about, but I'm not going to include all that here. But if you guys want me to, I can edit the rest of that 27 minutes of footage and upload it as a separate rant video if you want. Uh, I, I, I don't need to. I'll have a look at the footage, have a listen through it and see if like if it's actually makes sense or if I was just banging on about fucking random shit. So make sure to leave a comment and let me know if you want me to upload that 27 minutes of footage left. Uh, I can edit that down and upload that as a separate rant based video or if not just dislike the video and say no one gives a fuck. But yeah comment I like to rub watermelon on my elbows if you made it to this point in the video. You must have some patience if you made it this far. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching guys, appreciate you. And I'll see you very soon, my baby. Take care of yourself, mate.